Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the final video of Tuesday. Now I've been uh, working and I've still got work to do uh, on the uh, incursion options and hack pairing uh, side of things. But I've got it to a point where I can share and kind of talk through some uh, some various things. So as you know, incursions is, um, is a fun game mode. I know some people don't agree with that. I personally like it, but that's uh, mainly for a point of like, it's kind of a test bed for experimentation with uh, different setups. And of course, when you go into different types of sectors, which at the moment, by the way, uh, you can kind of quite easily change up your champions, use six stars, seven stars, whatever, use it as a pairing kind of tester as to like the future. So a lot of the times when I'm going for kind of cosmic based champions, I'll pair them with uh, with with buff amplification type of boss hacks. So improving things like because whatever reason buff cornucopia. Hey, your champion gets a buff. Buff cornucopia gives you different and more buffs. That's a nice thing. Always pair with a relic. Uh, then you've got other stuff like uh, okay, well your common hacks. Oh, your champion has critical rating as part of its kit to then do something. Then do critical rating. And then you've got stuff like, it does your champion do debuff damages. Uh, give it uh, debuff upgrade damage over time. Your champion, like any other champion, regardless of its setup being debuff dealing, uh, damaging debuff dealing, degen dealing, or buff having, and prowess having, or whatever it is, will also do basic attacks, like every single champion. It will do special attacks, like every single champion. So why don't you add those on? And that's one of the main things as well, is to add those particular little elements of improvements with damage and potential on to that champion. And this is why I've put together this. The link to it is in the description if you do want to check it out. And there's um, a few kind of like options of pair ups. So what I've done as well is I've tried to, and it will expand, there's, funnily enough, something that I want to work on, which is about power stinging in the mode. But I've got to do some experimentations first to kind of go, is that something that works well? And to kind of like give that, again, a bit more kind of like, why power stings? Why power stings is important? Well, there's certain types of hacks where if you have X thing on, you do Y thing. X thing might be, oh, if you've got a poison on, you do more power sting damage or whatnot. It's not exactly like that, but what I'm saying is like, there's a power sting element to it, which then puts in favour of doing other champions like uh, Scorpion and uh, Synergy with um, and Yellow Jacket and other types of champions as well. Different and various options because there are tons. As much as I can put together this particular spreadsheet, uh, there's there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. I do mention as well, if you are going to more difficult content, use boosts to improve the grind. But again, that's down to personal preference. The top five tips which I mentioned on, I think earlier today, uh, was is available in the spreadsheet. It's just, you know, listed there with it. So yeah, look out for that. But of course, for a lot of people, they'll choose different options. Of course, one popularized option is to use Hercules with, first of all, you use Odin, you start your pre-fights. And uh, also you can do the Herald. I'm very much uh, in the, the camp of doing Herald first, then uh, and as in using Galen, winning a fight with Galen, then using a, using the pre-fight to create the Cosmic Seed to create the Herald. I then at the same time put on the pre-fight for Odin, meaning that at the next fight after the first fight won by Galen, you then start off with Hercules um, on that lovely build. And then it's a case of having Heimdall added in in order to intercede and keep yourself alive. And also a block proficiency, which um, that is debatable. Again, some people may run Angela as your uh, third, uh, not third champion, second champion I've seen in the past. But again, it's down to personal preference how you see fit to do that. I also like uh, going down a different route and setting up in a different way. One of those different setups is indeed Bishop and uh, Kitty Pride. These are fantastic. Mainly if you're looking to go down a different route of. Well, more so with Bishop than Kitty Pride for buff cornucopia. That really helps for more so for uh, Bishop, but it depends how you want to play. And Proud Degen as well, if you want to kind of go down that route. I like Proud Degen because, again, plays into the narrative of both champions. And you've got all the other things like Special Refund, uh, Debuff Reinforcement Incinerate, because they both do Incinerate, Damage Over Time, because it's a Damage Over Time effect. Buff Reinforcement Prowess makes sense. Attack Enhancement Special, again, makes sense. So you've got all those particular things. Uh, perpetual offense. I think that's one that's got. I think I put that in there because it's got the um, uh, the what is it called? 
I think I've got got it on. I can show you. There we go. Perpetual offense. Uh, special attack has 100% chance to grant an indefinite prowess buff, increasing attack, uh, special attack by uh, damage by 60%, and obviously more if it's got a relic. So look, important stuff. This is just a case of, hey, again, it's like I'm not not kind of meaning to like state the obvious, but it's a case of, does your champion have this? Well, amplify, improve, enhance with what is there. And it's kind of like a no-brainer thing to, to most people, but I think it's interesting to note pairing. And do bear in mind, I do not in this video talk about synergies and masteries because at the end of the day, this is just down to a personal preference of play and anything added to it can be something that, you know, you might be, well, if I use this relic, Rich, I get this. Okay, cool. Well, if I use this relic, which is different to that, I get this. Okay, cool. I actually run suicide masteries and I get this result. Okay, cool. Like there's so many different variations. We could just be in, uh, we could be here all day trying to mind map all of it. And of course, for me working, I've worked over the last couple of days on this uh, and kind of like figuring out some stuff you know it's um, it's kind of like it, it is what it is so one of my favorites at the moment I will jump the gun because I do want to talk about my favorite at the moment is Hulk so I've been doing this kind of like rotation with Hulk which literally is just insane I have some footage because I want to take him into sector six and kind of showcase that for you uh, but that probably won't come for a little while because tomorrow we're going to be covering the new um, update information things um, and kind of doing guides for the side quest stuff and that's the plan because we've got to smash through that and we've got winter of woe so all those things and more are coming uh, but I love using uh, Hulk against this content mainly because stuns perma stun degen heavy draining degen is a, uh, a, a a type of rotation where you're literally doing a heavy attack to put the power control the power lock on um, and then what you're doing is you're you're kind of doing another heavy attack you do a, a uh, you do a you do the degen onto it or you can build up to an sp1 throw the sp1 do the perm stun and it's just a case of heavy 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 and you've literally degen them to death and that is basically ramping up stuff like debuff upgrade stun longer stuns on again it makes sense attack enhance heavy you're doing heavies you're doing more damage again it makes sense and then you've got something like well maybe buff cornucopia if you're swiping back but it's not something um you know to uh to major uh, i would say as well to amplify the degen side of things you've got debuff upgrade damage over time and also you've got degen debuff enhancement there is one other one which i think i've skipped over i think there's another degen one but again this is one of these things where look if it's got the thing it does the thing it makes sense to improve it and enhance it and that's something again that's, uh, that's really darn important i've put together something about bleeding champions and there are some ones that I really want to experiment around with, like having some things like Nick Fury. I've used them a couple of times, but I'd look to improve things when it comes to, say, um, you know, hemostatic charge and as well, you know, in enhancement of debuff for bleed. Again, makes sense. Chilf is another champion. If I had it, I'd love to experiment around. Same with Black Cat, Baron Zemo, Kate Bishop, Apoc could be fantastic and uh weapon x which again two options i'd like to kind of do and I, and of course creating um pre-fights around them you could even and here's the thing like far out of there do odin and apoc build so you're creating a um i think you can do that for most champions if not always it just cosmic with with odin i'm gonna have one of these kind of like existential crises and kind of like questioning my own sanity if i don't kind of like double check that it's not just for um the likes of um uh cosmic champions because that's gonna really kind of bug me now uh let's just quickly read um no okay that's good that's good i can't always honestly like it with so many like nodes and interactions in game i'm always thinking to myself like is this um is this for this is this for that and questioning my own logic but yeah it's for all champions so again you could look to do that you could look to do anything that we discussed with buff cornucopia hey you got a buff hey you get more buffs hey that's really cool all right smashing and again that's kind of like uh, the way with uh, that 
And I think that's really it to kind of like go over. I've done something as well for like Cosmic Champions because there's, there's, there's tons of options. You've got Gamora. Gamora I'm actually using at the moment and is a freight train of fun. But this is the thing I love about incursions is finding, uh, it's going into what I believe to be a fun uh, bit of um, content with uh, some interesting kind of like options that's new um, and kind of like working relatively well. I mean, look, here's a good example right now. We've got a Gamora. I could use Gallon, but um, you know, I'm testing up Gamora at the moment because as I said, it's fun to test out these champions. In a very short space of time, when I'm going to hit the parry right there, boom, 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 and boom. Right, that is a great amount of damage right there, and I don't think I'm going to be able to build up to a special attack, but I'm going to hang back like here, and of course with buff cornucopia, I'm just like building buffs. The AI is just doing AI stuff, but you can see there's the uh, the nice kind of damage there. If we buff cornucopia, I built up a regeneration. I take regen back. I would do a prowess. I get a prowess. I do prowess damage. It is just absolutely. Um, lovely to test out these uh, different options i'm just going to end the video on this gamora doing gamora things and then bleeding out the enemy but you can see look look at the regen that's kind of coming back to me on my seven star yes seven star yes it's rank one it's not six star but look it just kind of goes to show you on the uh, extent of uses of the champion the damage you can do the improvement with it hacks whether it be the boss hacks which i refer to as kind of rare hacks and uh, and also the common hacks all of it adds up and of course do the, the the boost hacks as well they massively help out but of course you've got to put a base layer of just uh, decency cheesy exponential damage and amplification of such so whether it's a damaging debuff, whether or not it's a buff, whether or not it's something else like a power sting, I'm sure you'll find a decent combination. And I'll try and expand this spreadsheet a bit more. Uh, but uh, for the time being, thank you very much for watching this video. Check out some other content located on screen and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.